The conservative group Turning Point USA has condemned the group of neo-Nazis and said they have nothing to do with the organization. Yeah, but where was DeSantis is what I want to know. But you let them in. You let them in and you knew what they were. So you are complicit. We'll be right back. Go get some snacks. Perhaps a carbonated soda. Can I make a quick clarification about the neo-Nazis at the Turning Point event? They were outside protesters. My point was more metaphorical. That you, you embraced them at your thing, I felt. Stupid! You're so stupid! So, I just, they were not in the building. They no, but you know what? Okay. You know what? I know they were not in the building, but right. they were in the mix of people at the thing. Except, and I know this is gonna blow your mind, but every single thing they said was a lie. I love how even when they're issuing corrections on the fly, they still manage to dig their hole even deeper. Oh, now dig up, stupid. And as you would expect, the rest of the media went with the same framing that somehow Turning Point USA was connected to these people. And as you could expect, this couldn't be further from the truth. According to Jason Rance from KTTH Radio, who investigated this group standing outside of the event in a public space that anyone can stand in quote some nazis showed up unclear if they're serious or pretending to try to claim conservatives support them so they can get coverage in left-wing media without an exception all the conservative attendees who came out were calling out their hate and telling them to leave if i had to guess this is stage i just hope left-wing outlets don't fall for it <laughs> Another journalist from Red State, Brandon Morse, also reported that these people did not seem legit. Hey, uh, so apparently Nazis decided to show up with all this like pro-DeSantis stuff to boot, and they're totally pulling it off, right? They're convincing everybody that they're actually with These are what you would call plants, so their whole entire thing is they're coming out here to make it seem like this SAS gathering is actually uh, pro-Nazi, pro you know, white supremacy and all that stuff. The DeSantis flags are a big giveaway. We've seen this before. In Virginia, where Never Trumper group, the Lincoln Project, sent fake white supremacists to stand around holding Glenn Youngkin signs. They got busted and the media let it all just fall down the memory hole. We've seen this any time a right-leaning protest gets going against the Democrats. With the media always pouncing on some lone rando with a Nazi or Confederate flag, which they then use to smear everyone. They've done the same thing in Canada and Russia for that matter. Just ask yourself logically, if you really are a Nazi and you support Ron DeSantis, why would you show up to a conservative political event waving Nazi flags? The only reason you would do that is to give the impression that conservatives and Ron DeSantis supporters are also Nazis. Lastly, even if these people were wanna be real Nazis, there were like 12 of them. The facts are TPUSA had nothing to do with that group. And two, that group was not supported or embraced by Turning Point USA as The View claimed. In fact, we know that the people who did come out condemned the group and told them to leave. Needless to say, Turning Point's founder, Charlie Kirk, let it be known that they were considering legal avenues to deal with these false smears, which got the hashtag Sue The View trending on Twitter. <laughs> And of course, they also issued a statement condemning the supposed Nazis, pointing out that they were unable to remove them because they were on public property. As I pointed out earlier, you cannot be trespassed from public property without breaking the law. Not even the police can do it. This is a staple of the so-called First Amendment audit videos. I've seen it a million times. And finally, The View issues an apology because they know they were wrong, right? <laughs> Right? And I have to stop talking because you have that note. I do have a Sorry. So on Monday, we talked about the fact that there were openly neo-Nazi demonstrators outside the Florida Student Action Summit of the Turning Point USA group. We want to make clear that these demonstra demonstrators were gathered outside the event and that they were not invited or endorsed by Turning Point USA. A Turning Point USA spokesman said the group 
quote, 100% condemns those ideologies and said Turning Point USA Security tried to remove the neo-Nazis from the area but could not because they were on public property. Also, Turning Point USA wanted to clarify, uh, wanted us to clarify that this was a Turning Point USA summit and not a Republican Party event. So we apologize for anything we said that may have been unclear on these points. Unclear? <laughs> Literally everything you said was a lie. They still invited Matt Gates, though, I would just like to know. <laughs> <laughs> they did it again, just like their last legal note where they continued to dig their hole deeper. They just couldn't get through this apology without implying that Matt Gates is a Nazi, I guess. And coming from all people on this cursed panel, the new Lisa conservative. All right, folks, that's it for that one. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.